Hello viewers and welcome to today's quest. We have the giant dwarf. I can start this quest by talking to the dwarven boatmen in the Keldegrim mines. Requirements is 33 magic, 16 fire making, 14 thieving, and 12 crafting, all of which are boostable. Items needed is about 200 coins, air and law rune, to cast telekinetic grab, any of the regular logs, regular uncolored logs. I'm bringing maple, you can bring regular oak, a tinder box, coal, iron bar, three cut sapphires, red berry pie, unless you've given one to Thurgo outside of the knight's sword quest. You're also going to need a variety of ores and bars. It's random what it's going to be. They have to be unnoted. It's for speed delivery, so it's best that you have them in your bank beforehand. A about 10 of these. I would keep 10 in your bank. You need dry clay, tin ore, copper ore, iron ore, coal, silver ore, gold ore, mithril ore. For smelted things, you may want to keep some bronze bar, iron bar, steel bar, silver bar, gold bar, and mithril bars in your banks. I would also recommend something to reduce your weight as you have to be under a certain weight. I think it's under 30 in order to progress through one part. So I'm bringing full graceful. I'm also bringing a Draymond staff because you use DKS and then run south to get here. As well as you can use the fairy rings to get to Mudskipper Point by using AIQ. I'm bringing a glory because I'm probably going to be going to Edgeville to teleport over. Alternatively, you can use the Rat Pits teleport through the grouping system to get to Mudskipper. And if you have not done the Knight Sword, you're gonna need a way to get Haverok, as well as some stamina potions, because there's a fair bit of running in this. Okay, we're gonna head into the tunnel east and go through the cave entrance directly east. Speak with the Dwarven Boatman. There's a Boatman and a Ferryman. Make sure you speak with the Boatman. Choosing chat option one and one. That's a deal. Yes, start it. Enjoy quality cutscene. Wow, look at those pixels. Amazing. Well, shit. Choose chat option two. Yes, I will do this. Leave here and go northeast to a bridge and go over it 
the city is divided into west and east Keldergrim. We start off in west, and we're going to be doing a lot of traveling back and forth between the two. So we have a kebab shop right here. You're going to want to go just south of it. Into this building. We have to speak with our sculptor. Choose and chat option two. Yes, I will do this. Now this great big building just to the west of us, we're going to want to go there and find Vermildi, the silk trader. So to the south. Vermundi, silk trader. Speak with them, choosing two. Yeah, I'm looking for some special clothes. Okay, go back to the western side of Keldegrim. And the northeastern house here, that's the library. We're going to go in it and speak with the librarian. Choosing chat option two. Do you know anything about King Elvis's clothes? Can you, uh, any bookcase that has a climb option, search it. If for any reason you fail this, is because you weigh more than 30 kilos, so bank some stuff to make sure that you weigh under that. Now we're going to want to go back east and speak to Vermuddy again. Choose chat option two. Yeah, but the special close again. Right here is a spinning machine along the west hand wall. Use our coal on it. It'll use our coal and our logs, and then we can light it by using our tinderbox on it. Now speak to Vermundi again, choosing chat option two and one about the special clothes. I'll pay. Now we're going to want to go back to the west side and go near the bank. And just southwest of the bank, we're going to have an anvil. So let's speak with Saro here, choosing chat option two. 
Yeah, I'm looking for a pair of special boots. Okay, go to the house just north of the bank. Go ahead and speak with Drummond. So let's go stand near the one, this left boot right here, along the south wall of the house, just east of the door. When he passes us by, so he's not facing us, yoink the boot. Now go to the north just outside the house where the right boot is and this is where we're going to want to telekinetic wrap when he's not looking so his back is turned so right up against the window and yoink it there we go we got the pair of boots okay just next door here to the west we have the weapon shop speak to centurion choosing chat option two two and two all the way through yeah i'm looking for a particular battle axe The sculptor needs it for a statue. Perhaps I can repair the axe? So if you haven't done the knight's sword quest, you're going to want to go to speak with Reldo in the Varrock Palace Library. However, thankfully, we have already spoken to Thurgo, so we're going to go to Edgeville, or Fairy Ring it. Either you find your way to Port Sarim and go all the way south, or you can Fairy Ring AIQ. And then I'm going to go north and speak to Thurgo in his hut. Choose chat option two to one. Can you help me with this ancient axe? One, return to Keldegrim immediately. We're right back at the sculptor's house, so speak with Ricky, the sculptor, yeah, sculptor's model. We need to give him stuff. And you're going to want to add your three sapphires to the axe and give that to Ricky as well. Speak with the Sculptor. Go into the building to the west. And we're going to want to go upstairs. Now all these places have companies. However, we want a company that's closest to the bank, which would mean we're heading to the west side of the building. So you just, you just can't choose the, the red axe. That's all. That's the only one you can't choose. So let's go for blue.
I'm gonna speak to the blue opal secretary. Choose chat option three. Is there anything I can help you with? Now this is where we're gonna have certain time limit in order to fetch everything and bring them back to them. Has to be unnoted by the way. So that's why we're choosing one closest to where the bank is, which is on the west side. Alternatively, if you need any of the ores, you can go to the blast furnace and use the east side and uh, buy from the blast furnace guy. I'll take it. Okay, three pieces of copper. Can head to the bank, which is just downstairs into the west. You can fill up your inventory with a little bit of everything and hope that you pay it off, but I'm just gonna run back and forth to the bank. So one, two, three, and then back. Alternatively, if you want to try and force this, you can fill up your inventory with what you want to do and just keep asking if there's anything you can help him with until it, he gives you an offer of what you have in your inventory. I'm just going to do what he asked me though. A little bit easier on my brain. Forcing tasks can be done for both the ores and the bars. Just talk to the director to turn it in and choose chat option three for your next task. Do you have another task for me? So make sure after he tells you how much or what ones you want every time, say you'll take it. And for low effort, you can just rinse and repeat this until you've turned in all the ores and all the bars for the next phase. Whatever you do though, don't refuse a task. Just click on him without finishing the dialogue of you'll take it or refuse it. Because you want to do as few tasks as possible without having to worry about your rep going down.
Okay, speak to the director now. Sweet. Now we have to speak to the director and complete a few tasks. Choose chat option three. Do you have any more tasks for me? Four bars of iron. Yes, I'll take it. Same thing with this guy. I'd like to officially join your company. As soon as he says that he can really rely on you, would you like to join? Say yes. Choose chat option two. I want to join. Three, one, and one. When that's done, choose chat option three, the sculptor sent you. I would support you. Yes, long live the blue opal. Now we're going to go back to the commander. From the bank, it's just the building directly west of the bank. You may choose whether or not you attend the meeting. Whatever, I show the beginning cutscene. Let's show the ending one too. I'm not reading it, just enjoy the music. Uh, see, guys, the cat's had enough of your bickering.
Have you guys look the same? Does it matter? A bald dwarf. Amazing. Congratulations, you've completed the Giant Dwarf. You're awarded two quest points, 2,500 XP in Mining, Smithing, and Crafting, 1,500 XP in Magic, Thieving, and Fire Making. Congratulations. Thanks for joining me for the quest. I hope it was enjoyable and or helpful. As always, feel free to give feedback in the comments below or just to say hi. I may not respond, but I do read all of my comments. Feel free to follow the links to my socials below and drop by Twitch to say hi. Tap that sub button if you want to see what I'm up to on YouTube. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope you all take care. I hope to see you guys for the next video and until then, stay safe and ciao!